All right, very good. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining us here uh, during the week of the Valero Texas Open. Uh, we really have a special week lined up here as we kick off the next century of the Texas Open here in San Antonio uh, and couldn't be more excited for what uh, the week has in store. Today, however, we're particularly excited to announce a new initiative of the Valero Texas Open and of Valero Energy Foundation, or uh, Corporation, I should say. Um, and uh, we want to announce the creation of a new elite collegiate event called the Valero Texas Collegiate. Uh, we will be hosting this event this coming September. So it will be in the fall portion of the college schedule, college golf schedule. And we'll be hosting it right here at TPC San Antonio on the Oaks course. Uh, we will be hosting it September 8th through the 11th. We will have one round of a college am uh, competition followed by three rounds of elite college golf. This is something that we as an event and alongside Valero have been uh, following for a very long time as college golf has risen uh, in priority and, and importance uh, in terms of cultivating the next generation of stars. Um, and so we are thrilled to be able to join the ranks of the elite college golf tournaments out there uh, and have, we believe, a top field uh, as we kick off this, uh, this year's event. And so uh, I do want to announce the, uh, the, the, the schools that will be joining us here for our uh, inaugural event in September. Uh, we will be hosted... The event will be hosted by the University of Texas at San Antonio. Uh, this is their home course, and we're proud to partner with them uh, on this event as tournament host. Uh, included in our field this year is the current top-ranked school in Vanderbilt, University of Oklahoma, Georgia Southern, Virginia, Baylor University, Texas Christian University, Georgia, Louisville, Louisiana State University, Florida Gulf Coast University. Uh, that is 11 teams of the 12 team field that we will be hosting here in the fall. Uh, we'll be confirming the final team that will join that, uh, that lineup here in the coming weeks and look forward to sharing that with you uh, once it's finalized. Uh, with that, I'd love to pass uh, the mic over to Mr. Seymour Battle. He is the Senior Vice President of Communications, PR and Engagement for Valero. Uh, and has been a key uh, component to putting all of this together. So, Seymour. Yep, thank you, Larson, and good afternoon, everybody. So, on behalf of Valero, we just are, are wanted to announce that we're really proud to continue our tradition in supporting golf. Uh, here in San Antonio, partnership with the Valero Texas Open and TPC and JW, uh, by introducing the, the Valero Texas Collegiate event. Uh, we are, these, these uh, college players are the future of the game. And we look to create what is, a, we hope will be a pipeline for the Valero Texas Open as they look mm -hmm. to uh, in, uh, uh, take off on their pro, um, their pro career. So again, we're excited about it. Look forward to the fall and all that comes with it. So thank you guys. Very good. Thank you, Seymour. Uh, specific to the pipeline that Seymour uh, referenced, uh, not only will this event factor into the PGA Tour U rankings that have become so important, uh, for the PGA Tour and the, and the next generation of golfer. Uh, but we are going to create a very direct pipeline for the individual winner of the tournament who will receive an exemption into the 2024 Valero Texas Open. So this is a great opportunity for a young rising talent uh, to not only compete at the highest level of college golf, but then to be able to tee it up next to the world's best here uh, on the PGA Tour. So. With that, I'd love to, uh, to provide uh, some comments or the opportunity to provide some comments to Coach Matt Wernicke. He is the head men's golf coach here at the University of Texas at San Antonio. Matt. Thanks, Larson. Um, so I got hired in August, and Larson, I think this was kind of in the works already, and so I've gotten a chance to work with Larson to kind of get this field together, and um, it's going to be a game changer for, for, for our programs kind of in – in particular, we're trying to get you know our program onto a national stage, and the way college golf works is it's it's harder to, it's hard to get into these big time invitationals unless you're hosting them. So thank you to Valero that they're wanting to put this to kind of put this event together, and, and we get to be a part of it. Um, it's great exposure for our kids to tell recruits, hey, you'll get to play against some of the best in the country if you, if you come here. That's kind of the hard pitch, and just to get you know to get these guys on this golf course, which is a obviously a tough tour golf course. So to get these kids exposure. Um, 
from what I gather, they're going to play similar tees, similar hole locations, similar yardage. So they'll, they'll get a really good feel for this. And all these top teams want to play together. And so to get this field and to have a tour start, that's the biggest carrot we can dangle out there to these, to these programs is to play against guys who do it for a living. Um, it, it's, it's going to be great exposure, and we're really part, uh, happy to be a part of this. Awesome. Thank you, Coach. We couldn't be more thrilled to partner with, uh, with Coach and the UTSA Athletics Program and the golf program specifically on this initiative. Um, this really will be uh, a, um, a collective effort, and rising tide floats all boats, right? The success of this event, I think we will, uh, it will allow us the opportunity to see a very rapid growth uh, for Matt's program, for his golfers, uh, and we look forward to seeing what they can do uh, with it here in the years ahead under his leadership as, as coach. So very excited about that. Um, we've got a very special guest here with us, uh, multiple-time PGA Tour winner uh, and University of Georgia alum uh, who uh, wanted to share some thoughts uh, as it relates to um, what this means for college golfers. So really pleased to introduce Mr. Brendan Todd. Brendan, thanks for being in here. Yeah, thanks for having me, guys. Uh, Got to say, uh, as a former collegiate athlete and collegiate golfer, uh, the opportunity to play a PJ Tour golf course is something pretty special. And to have a company like Valero involved in a golf tournament, I don't remember playing in any when I was in college, uh, that that was the case. So uh, thank you guys uh, to Valero for helping out the collegiate um, sport as well. So, you know, I think you guys are creating a great product here. It's something that you shouldn't have any trouble getting uh, more great teams to and seeing some great talent come through the, the Valero Collegiate golf tournament and then moving into the Valero Texas Open. I think it's going to be something that um, it's going to be really special going forwards. Very cool. Thank you, Brendan. Appreciate you, got you it. being here. Yep. We'll see how his Bulldogs do in September. <laughs> I need to improve. <laughs> well, very good. With that, uh, we're happy to open it up to any questions that you all may have, but appreciate you being here. Right. Is this another good opportunity to expose uh, young guys to what you're doing at the Texas Open and continue to bring them along as you do enter your second century? Yeah, no doubt. Um, that is a key part of, uh, of our motivation for this, right? Um, not only providing great competitive opportunities for the next generation of, of stars, but uh, this is going to allow us to build relationships with those players early on um, in their playing careers, right? And so... Uh, we hope that we can cultivate those relationships through the Valero Texas Collegiate. Uh, they will, you know, obviously fall in love with this facility, which is just so incredible here at TPC San Antonio and the JW Marriott, uh, and hope that they'll want to come back for years to come, uh, you know, as they transition into their professional careers. Um, so we are very excited about the prospects of that. Andy Torres, Nothing is OB Golf Podcast. Now, I know y'all are hosting a, female, a women's event here for the NCAA regionals. Did you feel that was important to kind of, um, I guess, pony up or make sure that y'all are doing your part on the men's side and also to bring in the, that elite golfer? Yeah, I certainly. Um, San Antonio Sports has done a wonderful job working with uh, the NCAA to bring in uh, the NCAA women's regionals uh, here in May and spring. Uh, it'll be an exciting opportunity for this property to host that event as well. Um, and, and certainly, uh, you know, I, I think any time, look, we are a PGA Tour event, we are a men's event. Uh, and so generally speaking, we, we focus on, uh, on that side of the game. But any time you can grow the game, both on the ladies' side and on the men's side together, utilizing the resources we have here in San Antonio, this magnificent facility, strong community support, um, to grow both sides of the game, it, it helps everybody, right? The more attention uh, we can draw to the game of golf, whether it's through the men's game or the, or the women's game, uh, is good for everybody. All right. Well, thank you all very much for joining us here this afternoon. We look forward to sharing more news and announcements related to the Valero Texas Collegiate uh, in, the one, in the months leading up to September. Uh, and hopefully seeing you all out there during our inaugural event. Thanks so much. Thank you. Good deal.